<laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Ju It's Juicing and Smoothie Time. <laughs> my name's Harkin Akbash and this is my beautiful assistant, Ipeg. She's going to help me uh, <clears throat> with this juicing recipe for that we've got today, which has been inspired by the one and only Jason Veil. Now, I got this um, recipe from this book. Um, it's called The Swamp. Swamp juice. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my unique um, spin on this. So let's take a look at the ingredients. Oh, first and foremost, two things that we need. One juicer and one blender. Um, I'm using the Nutribullet. So let's go for the recipe. Okay, let's pick out the recipe. How many of these do we have? Two apples. Two apples. And then what else do we have? Uh, part of a pepper. Bell pepper. Um, it's basically a quarter of a bell pepper. And then here I've got half a beetroot and a courgette and I've got some Brussels sprouts now this is basically from the top and this is from the stem do I do the courgette? Yeah. okay and the carrot and then I got half a lime and two sticks of celery and then also that's been washed in here what do you think is in there? Uh, spinach and broccoli and <laughs> And okay, uh, and I've also got some cow. Basically, they're just handfuls there. So this is basically my take on the swamp juice. Now, you may find that some of the ingredients you may not have. Don't worry, you can always substitute if you've got an apple. Um, use pears. Um, if you don't have any of the, um, what are these called again? <laughs> celery. Okay, if you don't have celery, you can always use cucumber. So, I always start my juicing as we'll put an apple in. Now, I'm using a centrifugal, and then what I was then do is squeeze. Can I? Can I do yeah, yeah, you do as well. I would squeeze the uh, spinach and the kale, squeeze them and push them, pack them in there. So I get them nice and packed. Get this nice and packed in there. Now, with regard to broccoli, a lot of people what they tend to do is they'll either use the top bit, but there's also goodness in the bottom bit as well from the stem. And the stem also acts um, as like an extra packing, so you can push these down a bit more. So next thing that I would add is the bell pepper. Let's just squeeze that in it, get it as tight as possible. I would add the beetroot. It really doesn't make a difference in what sort of order you add these in. But let's get as much as packed in there. What you want to do is you want to get the um, spinach and the kale really packed there and have something harder on top to push it down. So Oh, let's also add so the lime. Does the apple have to be at the bottom? Yeah, I, I will just put it on the bottom because it really sort of pushes it down. So let's turn it on. Mine makes quite a bit of noise, so let's go. <laughs> Yeah, 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 put both in. Okay, that's a bit. Yeah, push 
Now this is a centri centrifugal um, juicer and um, it basically sort of drips it. Um, there's another type of juicer which is the cold press and that sort of squeezes the um, juice out of there. Now what I need from you, ah oh, can you pass me that? Okay, let's just put it in there because it drips. Okay next step we're going to go for the blending. Now, the reason why we're doing it in two parts, the juicer juices, it takes the juice from the vegetables and the fruit, whereas the blender, what it does is it blends it. Avocados are one of those things that you cannot, well, it's, you can't really blend, um, can't really juice them. So, you're going to be getting all of these amazing vitamins in there and you're going to get some amazing flavour as well and also another thing is when you add the avocado in there it adds the richness of the actual avocado and the fats and everything <laughs> then it should come out as a nice creamy shake. So let's just quickly grab this. And then you can kind of smell both the um, beetroot as well as the carrots. That's basically how it looks. Is it? All right, so my challenge to you is for you to give this a try and then tell us what you think at the bottom of the comments. And what do you think they should also do? I have to um, make sure you subscribe and like and hit the notification bell and also stay inside. Okay, stay safe. Bye. Should I close it? Yeah, yeah. Okay.